trash shit. Fuck the rap shit. Coming into the heater, tell them clap this. Be on your dome and ain't gon' miss. What's up, homies? I got another tender adventures for y'all. In this one, I'm gonna be telling you a story about the time I almost died eating some pussy. <laughs> but it all starts scrolling through Tinder, like always. <laughs> and I came across this uh pretty fine uh Latina girl or whatever, man. And um I hit her up. Uh she we talked for a little bit, talked for a little bit, and then I can't remember what it actually said, but I remember it was something like I hinted at you want to come over and fuck or something like that? And she was like, I'm not like that. I don't do that. I'm just on here to meet friends or some shit like that. And I was like, every girl I talk to on here, that's what they on here for, trying to get some damn dick. And she was like, well, not me. I don't know what kind of bitches you're talking to and shit like that. And so a week went by. I hadn't said anything to her. She sent me a random message. Come eat my pussy. And I was like, oh, shit. See, I told you, man. They all, every one of them over there is wanting some at one point in time. But, uh. Just depends on the right guy comes around, really. But, uh, anyways, man, the where she lived at was pretty close to the uh, spot that I was staying at at that time. And uh, I like put gave her my address or whatever. She was like, "I'll be over there in six minutes." I was like, "God dang, six minutes, bitch!" And for real, she was over here in probably like five minutes. It was crazy as hell. I went out there uh, outside or whatever, uh, met her for the first time. Like I said. And um, we talked for probably, I'm going to say about 30 minutes. And I had a fat ass blunt rolled up, probably about as big around my damn thumb, man. And we just uh, was smoking or whatever. She was like kind of into like uh, rock music and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I listened to it, but I ain't like into that shit really. But um, she was pretty cool though. She was like, she wasn't fat or nothing like that, but she was like uh, thick, but she had a little kangaroo pouch. You know what I'm saying, if you know what I'm saying, but, uh, <laughs> anyways, man, so, uh, we were smoking that damn blunt, talking or whatever, and then, um, right after the blunt, right after I put the blunt out or whatever, I was like, you want to get in the back seat of your car? She was like, we about to do it in the back seat of my car? And I was like, yeah, I don't give a shit, I'm about to take her up inside or nothing like that, but, uh, anyways, man, I went over there, and I, um, uh, we got in the back seat, started making out or whatever, um, I, we got naked and shit like that. She was like, like she was skiing down a mountain. Well, with one pole though. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I started, got down there, started eating the thing, you know what I'm saying? Doing my thing, uh, flicking that bean. But, <laughs> but, um, uh, I remember I was eating it or whatever. And like, like I said, she wasn't fat or nothing, but I don't know if you've ever seen this or whatever, but like, It'll be like flat, and then right above the uh, vagina or whatever, it'll be like a little, like a little pouch right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So I ain't hating on nobody, cause you know what I'm saying. I still hit it a couple more times after this. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll tell you a little bit about that too. But, <laughs> but um, I, uh, damn man, I tried to like, you know what I'm saying? You some of the some of them you gotta like whoosh, spread that thing so you can see the little clit or whatever. And I was doing that, and I was trying to. Use my hand to hold up that little pouch too or whatever. And then I just start putting my whole mouth around it. I ain't going to give y'all all of my secrets now. But just put my mouth around that thing. And then I just started licking the hell out of it, boy. And then uh, she was like grabbing the back of my head and like just pushing it up against that coin purse. And that motherfucking thing was like sitting like this right on my nose. And I was just, <laughs> just going to tell you. Know what I'm like whatever you get in the damn moment or whatever, boy, you ain't even thinking about breathing or no shit like that. I really, for real, man, I should have had a motherfucking snorkel to eat this damn pussy because that shit was pressed up against my face so much. And I was like, <laughs> I started hyperventilating, man. I, for real, I thought I was about to die from eating pussy. And to think about it now, I could have been a fucking legend. Just think, man, the first motherfucker to ever die from eating some damn pussy. I would definitely, my name would have went down the fucking history books. I would have been a fucking legend for real, man. I would be like, that. That guy was doing his fucking thing. That damn kangaroo pouch got him though, man. That shit fucked up, but. But hell yeah, man, and then I had. Oh yeah, this was another time, but. Man, whenever that shit happened, I like came up, cause I was like, oh, oh, oh just 
she just had my back of my head just pressing it into that fucking thing. And I came up for her, I was like, I was like, God dang. I was like, I gotta catch my breath real quick, bitch. What was you doing to me trying to smother me with it there? <laughs> that shit was crazy as hell, man. But uh, another story, after that time, my this lighter right here actually dropped down in my pocket whenever I, I guess whenever I was about to die, man, whenever I was having my last little fucking death moment of getting smothered by that damn cooter, I was like, <laughs> this had to come up for air. My damn lighter fell out of my pocket. I hit her up, probably like the next day or two days after that, I think it was. And I was like, did you ever find my lighter in your car or whatever? And she was like, yeah, I found it in there. I was like, oh, I did a bit trying to steal my damn lighter or something. But um, she was like, I'll bring it back to you. So man, I had to ended up having to uh, hit her back up to get my damn lighter back. I had to eat that thing again, almost risk my fucking life. You better be glad, motherfucker. I had to risk my damn life to get this damn thing again. You don't know how that was. I, I should have been on uh, uh, what is that damn show? Almost survive. I mean, I, what is it? It's something like that, man. I don't forgot what it is. <laughs> That was just another crazy ass tender encounter, man. For real, I got so many fucking stories about that shit off of there, dude. It's crazy as hell. So many of them. And I done told a couple of them already on my previous channel. I'm going to have to retell some of them. So, like I said, you might see some uh, retellings of stories. So, just be like, oh, that motherfucker's trying to make double videos or something like that. Just know that all those videos got deleted or whatever, man. I'm having to redo some of them. But, uh,. Just let me know any of your crazy ass Tinder adventures you got down in the comments if you have any. Or not even Tinder adventures. You just had like a blind date or some shit. You had some crazy stuff like that happen to you, man. You almost died eating a damn thing. But hell yeah, man. Just let me know in the comments. I hope you like this video. Hope you're smoking on some good. Hope you're having a good day. Later, homies. Did we found it? Oh, yeah. Let's get it one more time for him. Hey, boy.